Hi, I'm Davis. And I'm Andy. We're the Game Grazers. And we are continuing to dig our way through Shovel Knight. So, um, as I noted last time, I was going to do some farming. And... Oop, wrong button. <laughs> Not that one. No. Nope. Oh, I can't open up the inventory here. I farmed a lot. Oh, that's right. Okay. So we'll just have to take you free word. Yeah. Oh, here we'll find out. Yes, this has been a brutal game at times for you. It has. It's pushed you to your gaming limit. I just I find these so weird. These boss battles are... They're kind of out of place for me. Because I was expecting to be a build-up, not like, Oh, hey, I'm walking along. Whoa, here's a boss battle for you. So much for, like, all that crazy farming. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> nice! Ni oh, oh, crap! All right. You are I... making it look easy again. <laughs> Except for, like, the fact I have, like, no health left. Oh, yeah, that's right, huh? I was realizing of the wrong health one. <laughs> that was his health. <laughs> so, you know, uh, though this is not airing for another week or so, we are on the eve of two very important things. What was that? Uh, Battlefront will oh. be out in a mere short couple hours. A few hours, which I'm kind of excited about. I'm a little concerned, but it is Star Wars, so I'm going to pick it up, much to my... <laughs> I don't know. Better judgment. Your better judgment. This would be a third, the third midnight release in three weeks for me. Wow. I know. I know. Not even my best could praise you. Well fought. If you can accept defeat like a true knight, you'll always have your dignity. No, they'll never let me into the order. Never, never, ever. <laughs> what is up with his face? He's crying. And you're beating him with a shovel, and he's crapping out jewels. Yes, and what? Would, would those be the family jewels? I don't know. Okay, just thought I'd ask. He's, he's not very happy. And no, apparently not. So, uh, Battlefront, and it's the day before Charlie Sheen admits he's HIV positive. <laughs> you heard it here first. You heard it here first, last. Last. Because it's a week later. <laughs> because you're right, it is a week later. And I'm sure there will be repercussions in the porn industry, <laughs> uh, seeing as how many uh, porn star partners he's had. It's the Enchantress. Uh, Wait, is she good or is she bad? She's bad. She's the she's the final boss. Spoiler alert! Spoiler. It's kind of alluded to, like in the opening sequence. Uh, Gladys or or her? Who would win in a fight? Um, I don't know. Uh, but judging, because actually, I finally I went and beat this as practice on my 3ds. <laughs> um, after my horrible failures of last week. <laughs> um, so. Uh, maybe her. <laughs> I think the Enchantress might be the better bet. Think so? Yeah, having fought the final boss of this game, I can say with some certainty, um, we're in for a ride. But Gladys has science. What does an well, Enchantress have? Like, enchantments? Magic. Magic? Crazy magic. Alright, alright, I can see that. So, um, I watched a new uh, Netflix series. Uh -huh. I'm beginning to think their uh, quality control department at Netflix has to have a serious talking to. Um, it's uh, David Cross and Bob Odenkirk's uh, latest comedy sketch okay. series, which I'm actually a huge David Cross fan. I mean, like everything I've seen him in, I've, I've absolutely laughed my ass off. I even loved his part in Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, which I've he never was in. Seen. <laughs> Oh, too bad. He he was only in a little bit, but I thoroughly enjoyed his character. Um, but, oh my god, what a horrible show. I mean, it was just... It was terrible. It, it was it was cringeworthy. It wasn't even, like, so bad that, that I enjoyed it at some level. It was just... I felt like I wanted that half hour back that I, that I gave Netflix. I beat the Black Knight again. Look at that. You were like, man, you just got in the zone there and just worked away. I did, and I, I realized... Um... I need to go back and get more Icor. Because we all could use more Icor. All right. I'll, just, I'll use this handy shortcut thing. Uh, that's like fast travel. Yeah. Ow. But more painful. Apparently. 
So you're gonna go talk to the are you gonna talk to the grass gastronomer? No, the I gastronomer. I, I actually have gasometer. Um, all the health upgrades except for the one I get for completing mm. others. Here's the truffle again. Hey, buddy. Dude, he, he doesn't look happy. Doing. All right. I can make him really not happy. Oh. Out of fish in his pond. I was going to say, what the hell are you going to pull out? You know what he does in that pond? Apples. He poops apples, doesn't he? <laughs> he literally has the apple splatters. Ugh. Which I still don't understand that term, but I'm going to use it anyway. Apparently I'm going to fight all the wandering bosses. It's alright. Wait, but once you beat them, they're gone, right? They are gone. So that's fine. You're just cleaning the house. That's all you're doing. How's uh, Triforce Heroes going? I haven't played it very much. <laughs> oh, really? I've been uh, busy. Uh, there has been illness in the home, so I've had to spend a good chunk of time taking care of everybody. <laughs> right, except yourself. Eh, I'm taking pretty good care of myself. Oh, okay. That's I've, had, just the... I've had some fun uh, editing Game Grazers and being like, oh, cool, check it out. We uh, finished our final episode of Portal. <laughs> That's right, that was our first completed game. Yep. And I'm proud to say, I was the one playing. Oh, but you talked me through a lot of it, so... I did. Gotta give you credit there. Cleaning house. Barely alive. <laughs> house has been cleaned. It All has, right. it has. So, but now you can drink more Icor and then go back to the Tropel, right? And uh, fish in his pond. <laughs> I'm not even paying attention to these guys. Say, blah, 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 blah. I don't care. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I hope you're not following this for the story of Shovel Knight. I hope not. I, I certainly hope not. Can we tease what's uh, what's coming up in the future episodes? What future episodes? You mean the fact that we already started Saints Row? Right, exactly. <laughs> I meant future episodes in the past. Future episodes of the past of yesterday. I'm so confused. Wait, where am I going? Oh, um... I don't know. Not in the past or the future. Uh, well, I might as well clear up all these guys. I'm on a roll. Yep. I like that. That's a one sexy son. Spoke too soon. <laughs> Whoa, he's like got a pin cushion for a Phantom helmet. Striker. Is he Hellraiser? Did you... Fin yeah, Pinhead, right? Wasn't that yeah. the guy in Hellraiser? Yeah. Oh, the Cenobites. I miss them. <laughs> Why can't they put Cenobites in horror movies now? I don't know. They're so busy remaking Freddy movies and Michael Myers movies and Evil Dead movies. I don't even know what that's about. Well, that's a TV show, isn't it? Is it? I know they remade the movie. I tried to sit down and watch it, but well, I there's, couldn't. Well, they didn't remake uh, the... It's a new show. It's Ash vs. the Evil Dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I know what you're talking about. And I've been told to watch that, which I think I should. That would be uh, groovy. <laughs> Shop smart. Shop S -smart. S smart. So many classic lines. Get your shovels on blue light special. <laughs> Cobalt blue steel. <laughs> All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. This is my boom shovel. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sorry, still best one of the best horror movie protagonic protagonists around. <laughs> Bruce Campbell. All right. There you go. Just clear the table, man. Wait, what? I thought you were gonna fight another boss. No, nah, this is just a money oh. stage. But I failed this miserably last time. Yeah, I know. I was just like having like so many other things. Just having PTSD flashbacks for this. I didn't even play it. I missed the jewel, man. Guess it doesn't matter. So make sure it doesn't fall in pits. Whoa, crap. Right. Hey, didn't you have um, NES, the Ultimate NES Remix for the 3DS? Have you played that? I have. Do you um, like it? Well, actually, no, I don't have it for 3DS. I have the two NES Remixes on, oh. uh, on Wii U. Yeah, yeah, okay. But you enjoyed those? Yes, those are a lot of fun. Okay, I was just curious. Because I think after Triforce Heroes, that might be a... I've been... 
I've been hankering for some old school games. Whoa, Jesus. Almost walked off the edge of the stage. That would have sucked. Bye bye. And I was really happy. I was going through some boxes, and of course, I have the little uh, Genesis um, emulator that hooks up to my TV, but it's also got a cartridge slot, and I found a few Genesis cartridges, so nice. I think I'm going to have to fire that up and uh, play me some Jenny games. All right. On to actual levels now that I've cleared the map of punks. This is Tinker Knight. With this... wind up rats. This feels more like a Mega Man level than the other ones, even. Oh, what do you see the uh, boss of this stage? Is it going to be Proto Man? No. Oh. Okay. Get excited for Mighty Number no. 9? Yeah! It's, it's taking so long. <laughs> I know, but you didn't you uh, um, kickstart it? I did. I did. But you're gonna, you're, you've are you got a copy coming. Yep, and I do believe for Steam. Speaking of Steam, um, as I was browsing around the Reddits, I saw something very interesting today. A game I love to death is coming to uh, El Steamo. And it's not Kingdom Hearts. It is not Kingdom Hearts. It's Disgaea 1 from the PS2. Oh my gosh. I'm fucking excited. I love that game. Man. Uh, ah, ugh. Strategy RPGs are so crazy tough for me. Yeah, that one's that one's not easy. Are you Ow. telling me you played it the first time on your old fat PS2? Oh yeah. Good memories? Very good memories. Late uh, nights? Yes. Ugh. Well, right. I'm gonna die at some point anyway, so I'm not gonna bother having my my I-Core. Yeah, I don't like the look of that uh, that golden gear bouncing back and forth. Well, that's nothing. Oh, nice. <laughs> but if you fell down there, he would have munched you to death, right? Yes. Okay. Let's make sure I'm not missing something here. Checkpoint. All right. Way to do it. Boy, there's a Plus lot. Plus, I know of... it's in here. Woo! It's the magic wall chicken. chicken. I guess this week it can be turkey. Eh. We're close enough. Yeah. It's on Thursday. Oh, well, that's true. It's the day. Huh? It's it's the day before we all start shopping for Christmas. Yeah. Well, it will be soon. Yeah. Ugh. So there's a lot of pistons here, which reminds me of the great time we had with Portal. <laughs> go up top. Go up top. There you go. I really need to come up here. Don't really need gems for much. That was it, huh? Pretty much. I've already bought most of the things I will need to finish this game. For brevity's sake. Yes! Oh! I thought you were going to land right on top of those spikes. Nope. Life would have sucked. Yes, it would have. I mean, I still grabbed <laughs> gems anyway. <laughs> Yeah, this, this stage reminds me of a uh, Metal Man stage in Mega Man 2. Yeah. Well, and the funny thing is to me, the music isn't all that different, but there's something very Mega Man-y about it. Well, um, why can't I remember that person's name? You mentioned the, it in past episodes. Well, Jake did most of the music. Um, oh, okay. But they got, I think, the, Meg the original Mega Man 1 composer to do, like, two songs. Oh, okay. And one of them was a Treasure Knight <laughs> stage, I believe. I don't know what the other one was. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't see that before. I just got it. It's like... That's... Oh, shit. Oh, no! I had a dumb. <clears throat> I had a dumb. And in accordance with that dumb... Uh, next time on Game Racers. We're going to recoup and we we're going to uh, center ourselves. Yes. Mentally. And we'll be back with more Shovel Knight. Shovel, 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 shovel. Thanks for listening. <laughs>